new video, the first video of the new module. So I'm not 100% sure uh, how long this module will be. I might end up having to make two apps just to make it make sense. Because otherwise this video, this uh, module might end up just being like three, four videos long. But we'll see how we get along. So in this first video, what we're going to do is we're going to quickly introduce the app we're going to build. Uh, we're going to talk about what we're doing, and then we're actually going to go ahead and design that app. Because for myself personally, and I think it's like this for most people, um, you know, some ways of coding, some patterns just help us become more productive, and some patterns just don't. You know, if you have proper planning, then it can become much faster and much more efficient to write the code you want to write and to make the apps you want to make. And for me personally, what I found is the most effective is if first I make the design, the UI in Adobe XD or something similar, and then I write that design in code. And then afterwards, I hook it all up to whatever I need to hook it up to. In the past, I used to do it the other way around. I used to try to uh, write the the code, like the, the logic before the UI, and then hook, hook up the logic to the UI. And it just wasn't quite so smooth. And the big issue I found was actually with the UI itself. Um, normally, I would just make like a quick sketch on my notebook and try to use that to go off of to uh, to make... Uh, an app, but then oftentimes it just would not look quite right. And then once you've already written everything, once you already have all the UI, if you want to change something, it's not always that easy. Sometimes I'd only realize when I see the final product that an entire idea I had was quite bad. Uh, on the other hand, when we design it in something like Adobe XD, we can see the finished product and then we can make the changes before we actually spend all that time writing it out in code. So that's what we're going to be doing in this video. But before that. So what are we going to make in this module? Well, in this module, we're going to make a movie browser. We're going to use this uh, API here, OMDB API. That's the Open Movie Database API. And what this does is this is a free to use API, which has information about different movies. Uh, it's going to give us, for example, the um, the poster, the, the title, um, who the actors were, this kind of stuff. And what we're going to do is we're going to use this API to make a movie browsing app. So in our app, we're going to have like a little search field. We're going to search for the name of the movie and then details about that movie is going to, uh, going to come up. So the goal of this module is to really learn how to use networks, how to make network calls and how to use a uh, an API or a REST framework, something like that. Um, and that's why we have this one. Okay. So let's close this and go to Adobe XD. So we can see currently, I just have an empty thing here because we haven't started yet. <laughs> and uh, we're going to have a few different screens. We're going to have the, I guess you could call this the home screen. You could also call this the, like the entry screen or whatever. And then and I haven't used Adobe XD too many times. So, I'm not quite an expert on it. I'm trying to look to see how here it is. And then one more. Okay. So we're going to have three different screens. That's going to be our home screen. That's going to be our um, uh, search result screen, as it were. And then we're going to have a movie details screen. Okay. So what's going on here the home screen is kind of kind of like the landing it's what we see when we load up the app it's just going to have a search thing and something to make it look nice the search results is going to have the different uh, just the different results so if we search for star wars a lot of different movies are going to come up and this is going to have the different star wars movies which we can then click on and when we click on that we're going to go to the movie detail screen which is going to have well, more details about the one specific movie. So let's start here. And I'm going to make a container. And I'll just put it here for now. And I really wanted this line. We'll do it afterwards. And I'm going to put it to the edge. The reason being, I want to hold down option because this makes it. Um, 
it changes it from both sides at the same time, right? And then I'm going to pull this thing down here to make it uh, rounded because I prefer having rounded corners. This is too big, so I'm going to make it a bit smaller. And okay. Then we can make it even smaller or leave it like this. Uh, I think I mentioned to you guys before that I don't like things when they're exactly centered because to me, when they're exactly centered, it kind of looks like there's too much space uh, over here on top. I prefer things to be a bit more like towards the top and I prefer to have more white space on the bottom. Um, so let's see if this has 386 on either side now. How about we go to 326, so one more. So maybe that look, that looks okay. Maybe we want it a bit lower down. It's up to us. Uh, well, up to you, you guys. You guys can have different design than me. You can also move this if you don't want it to be fully rounded. Um, and again, up to you guys. Do you want full rounding? Do you want just a little bit? I don't know. Um, we we'll just we can just choose whatever we think looks nice. And now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put some text which says Ovid's movie browser. And I'm going to make this text centered. We'll make it a lot bigger. We'll put this in the center, maybe 50 pixels away. Um, okay. So now that we have this, I can see that it's a bit too, uh, too high. So I'm going to move this a bit lower down. I can also change the color here. Maybe I want it to be darker black. Maybe I don't. <laughs> I don't know. Too dark. Okay. And this looks boring, doesn't it? We'll also put like a search button. And same thing. Actually, I'm going to make it all the way. But if anybody has used Adobe XD a lot, because I have not, I'm still quite a beginner. Keep in mind, I'm a coder, I'm not a designer. There should be some kind of way to not have to do this, right? There should be some kind of way to put something in the center and make it come out on either side. If you guys know how to do that, please let me know, because I don't think I'm doing it the right way. Uh, but okay, so I'm doing this, and then I'm going to pull in the uh, the corners a bit because I want it to be kind of the same. And keep in mind, this is just going to be a reference. I'm not going to, I'm not going to use that plugin, uh, Flutter to or XD to Flutter. I do have it. Here it is. I do have it, but I found the code it produces is not quite usable. It's it just doesn't look like the code that myself or you would write. There's a lot of transforms, a lot of uh, you know, a lot of offset widgets, and there's no sensor widgets or anything like that you can tell an AI has made it. You can tell a computer made it. You can tell it's not like actual human written code. Uh, so as a result, we're just going to use this for reference and not use the, uh, the plugin. But I did play with it. I did play with it. Okay. So now that we have this, I'm going to get rid of the border, but I'm going to give this a um, fill color. So at this point, this is where we need to decide what we want the main colors of our apps to be. And I'm going to choose... What do you think of movies? What do you think of? What kind of color? Um, I'm going to choose something like this, just because I like the color. It looks good enough. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what to tell you. Okay. So I'm going to choose this, that's fine. And then I'm going to add some text here. I'm just going to say search. I'm going to add text which says search, control A to select it. Make the text white. I'm going to make this 16. I might have to play around with it a bit more afterwards. Uh, bold, not bold, I don't like it. 16 is fine. Move it to here. So now apparently this is in the center. 
So what do we think of this as a button? It's okay. It's not the best, it's not the worst. Now I'm going to group the search in the rectangle. So I've been using my own laptop all weekend and I've just gone back to using the Mac and everything's different. Whenever I switch between the two laptops, I always make a lot of mistakes on the uh, hotkeys. So I'm gonna go ahead and group this and I'm gonna call this search button. And the reason I'm doing this is just so I can move this as one piece. I don't need to uh, move them separately. And let's put it as 80 pixels. We'll see how that looks. Okay. Okay, it still looks boring. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie to you guys. Uh, but it's, um, it's a little bit better. Now what I wanna do is I want to get material.io. I want to get like a little icon uh, to show an hourglass thing uh, for the search. I wanted the icons. Here. So I'm going to control F for search. And so all of these icons, these here on material.io, are the icons which when we're using Flutter, we can use with icons dot, and then whatever name we use is the same name you can see over here, like uh, icon.search is gonna be this exact one. Um, and this is where you can see all of them. But at the same time, what I can also do is download this. So I can, what I'm actually gonna do is open it with uh, Adobe XD because I don't necessarily want you guys to see everything I have in my, um, downloads folder and because this is my work computer so yeah <laughs> never mind i'll just download it normally okay so i've downloaded it and that so that is the icon and now we're going to drag this to be if I could collect it, if I could select it properly, I'm going to drag it to the front here and give it a spacing, maybe 10. And now it's in the center. Okay. So now it looks a little bit better at uh, the behavior I would expect. And I think this is a tiny bit too, uh, too thin. I always have this problem with buttons. When I make them a bit wider, I think they're too wide. When I make them a bit thinner, I think they're too thin. So I can never quite decide, but that's fine. Okay, and maybe this is a bit too thin as well. So it's gonna look something like this. Uh, we can play around with it a little bit more. I can make the rounding more complete. To change this, I'll need to go into the group. Okay, so I can decide my app is gonna use complete rounding and uh, because it's a little bit boring, how about we give this a background gradient? Um, yeah, let's do that. So I'm going to select a container in all of this. I'm going to move it to the bottom so it's underneath everything. And then I'm going to take away the border. And for the fill, I'm going to give it a linear gradient. Right, so this is what it would look like if we just used white to black. What we're gonna do instead is select our main color and I'm gonna lower the opacity by a lot. And as for this one, this one currently uses black. I'm gonna take it more towards white. Going back to the initial one. Make this a bit darker. And another thing I can do is I can move this slider over so the gradient starts in a later place. And of course, I'll need to show you guys how to do this within Flutter when we actually get to coding. Okay. Okay, so it doesn't look great. It doesn't look terrible. I'm going to move this a little bit higher. And yeah, so again, it doesn't look great. It doesn't look terrible, but we can take this first screen 
and turn it into code, which is exactly what we're going to do in the next video. So for now, uh, myself, Vidius, I'm going to head out. Okay, if you want to about the other two screens, what I wanted to do in this video was just show you guys how to design something with Adobe XD. And I didn't necessarily want to spend a lot of time designing everything because this already took me like 10 minutes. The next two screens are going to take even longer. And I don't think it's going to be that useful for you guys to uh, just watch me design something for like half an hour, an hour. If you guys do think that's going to be interesting, then you can go ahead and leave a comment down below. And if you do tell me that I should record myself designing the next two screens, then I will. But if not, I will not. Okay, so for now, uh, myself, videos. I'm going to head out. Take care, guys.